Siouxland, make some noise for KCAU 9 Sports Zone with sports director Anthony Mitchell and sports anchor Noah Sacco. Your inside look at all the local sports action begins now. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in and welcome to the KCU 9 Sports Zone from all of us here at KCU 9 News. I'm Anthony Mitchell. We have a ton in store for you tonight as our local teams aim to move one step closer to earning that state title. Top matchups, big plays, a live report from our game of the weekend, of course, our top stop and player of the week. We're going to start things off, though, with our Sports Zone game of the week. It's a top five matchup right here in the state of Iowa. Number five, Spirit Lake hosts number three, West Lion. Two top five teams here with a trip to the Unidome. On the line, the Wildcats, they've won the last two meetings. Spirit Lake looking to end its skid to West Lyon here at home. Indians led 7-0 at half back at goal line in the third quarter. Caden Lunt going to pass, intercepted by Carson Hogue even. He's taking this all the way back. 90-yard pick, 6-7-7 seven, seven game. Same score, fourth quarter. Spirit Lake threatening to take the lead once again. Hogue even again with a pick. He's taking it back-to-back -back pick sixes. Two pick sixes for the junior. Unreal stuff. No PAT, though. 13-7 West Lion, but this one far from over. Under a minute and a half left to play. Indians giving it to Bo Higgins from one yard out. He muscles his way in. PAT good. 14-13 Spirit Lake. You thought West Lion was done? You were wrong. Carson Meyer, the ensuing kickoff return. He's got space and a convoy of blockers. He is gone. Kick six for West Lyon to put him ahead. 19-14, but then just 20 seconds later, Ethan Stacker reels it in, takes it for a house call, putting Spirit Lake back up 20-19. Unbelievable. Six seconds left. West Lyon going to Anderson Trail to win it from more than 40 yards out. No good. Barely a yard short. A big-time game and a big-time finish. Spirit Lake stands tall, defeating West Lyon 20-19. And how about that for a game of the week? A game that exceeded the expectations. A wild game that fans from both teams will certainly remember for a very very long time. Our own Noah Sacco live in Spirit Lake for a breakdown of that unreal game of the week. Noah, how are you feeling? Anthony, I still got chills from that kind of game. I mean, I knew it was going to be a back and forth battle, but I don't think anyone could have predicted the ending that just ensued here for the West Line Spirit Lake game. Once again, Indians win it 20 to 19 over the Wildcats in the two-way quarterfinals. They are punching their ticket to the Unidome for the state semifinals next week. And I caught up with head coach Josh Beloit after the game, and he had enormous things to say for his Indian group that refused to quit. Just really, really proud of our kids that continue to battle, compete. That thing went back and forth several times. Uh, Westland played a whale of a game. Um, and just, yeah, just proud of how our guys continue to compete. That's that play by Ethan at the end there to finish. Um, it was unbelievable. Game for the ages for us, and we've had some special ones in the past, so that was a huge game. So much fun to be around. Leadership's been phenomenal. They've worked incredibly hard, and they don't give up, right? We've been down in a lot of games to come back, and I'm just proud of these guys, so it's fun. Spirit Lake quarterback Caden Lund throws for over 300 yards in this one in a game that had back and forth scores in the final two minutes. And we even had a score within 30 seconds of each other that kick six. And then one of the best catches that you'll see this year in Ethan Stecker to put Spirit Lake up for good 20 to 19, holding on to that lead. Spirit Lake punching their ticket to the Unidome for the first time since that unbeaten title winning team in 2015. We'll see if Spirit Lake can do it again starting next week. But for now, live from Spirit Lake, Noah Sacco, Casey Night Sports. Thanks so much, Noah. And what a way to start the night. Nothing like some playoff football action, especially when the calendar turned from October to November. The game's just getting bigger, but now it's time to get to the rest of tonight's action, starting with a pair of local rank squads facing off in Bishop Heelan and Sioux Center. The Warriors handed Heelan its lone loss of the year way back in September. Shout out to our friends at Dort University for the video here. A low scoring game, scoreless at the half, third quarter. Sioux Center going for the field goal, blocked by Bishop Heelan. Special team stepping up when it matters most. Warriors, though, they bounce in a big way. Brody Van Regenmorter dropping back, looking deep, connecting with Cade Bauer. A huge chunk play. This one going for 50 yards. Solomon T adding the go ahead touchdown. How about this? This game decided in triple overtime. Bishop Heelan heads back to the Unidome with a 27 26 win. 
and our teammates at Dort University helping us out with this one as well. Defending champ Central Lion George Little Rock hosting Kemper Catholic. Lions working toward another state title. CL has the ball looking for some more. Intercepted by Kemper Catholic. That stops the Lions drive. KC in the red zone. Quarterback Brock batting left. Is that up to his playmaker DJ Von Ham for the score. KC kicking off, but they go to recover the onside kick. Graham, even though on the other side, tired of the disrespect, rumbles in for a huge gain. Look at the Iowa commit go, just slashing through that defense. CLGLR stays on beat. They're going to the dome with a 48-27 win. In Mobile, number two, Woodbury Central welcomes Logan Magnolia to town. Wildcats defeated the Panthers 39-14 earlier in the year. Panthers bringing out the field goal unit. This one, no good. Wide left. Wildcat fans, you're letting him know that he didn't make that. WC with the ball. Drew Clunder among the state's passing leaders, but he's going to tuck this one and run it. Clunder bolting over the sideline. High step in his way all the way to the end zone for the big rushing touchdown. Extra point blocked. 6 0 Wildcats lead. Second quarter. Clunder dropping back. This time he's going to find his favorite target. That's Mr. Eric McGill for the touchdown. Wildcats, you're going to the Unidome. They win it. 35 0. Switching states now, our lone South Dakota team left in a rematch of the Class 11B state title game. EPJ taking on the winner. Huskies with the ball. EPJ passes it over to Garrett Merkley. Met by a slew of defenders. He reels it in now. EPJ getting the ball back. Pitching out to Merkley once again. He picks up a big chunk of yards. Huskies staying on the move later in the drive. EPJ, they're going to hand this one off to Keaton Gale. He plows ahead through the line. Gets past that second line of the defense. He's off. Scampering into the end zone. The Huskies upset top ranked winner 21-16. They're playing for the Class 11B state championship next Friday at 10 a.m. in the Dakota Dome. We have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere just yet. Plenty of big matchups on the other side of the break. Plus, he's going to bring home our top stop and player of the week awards. Some great candidates remaining. Stay in the zone. We're the stand Mustang cheerleaders. And don't you dare touch that dial. Sports Zone will be right back. Oh. <laughs>